Well, I, I was around the stables all my life. As a little kid, I'd be in my dad's stables and I'd ride out on the, on the baldy pony, which was called Corn Flakes. And uh, my life was around horses. And then when I left school, I really wanted to be an actress. So uh, I, I went overseas and I acted there for three years. My father kept saying, come back, join the family business, which I did come back, as well as having two careers. I was on television in Australia, and I was working with Dad in the morning, clocking the horses. Ten years on, I, I asked, I said to him, I want to become a horse trainer, and he felt it was far too hard a profession. Anyway, after that, I got a license. It's just that it's a very hard business, and you've got to work very hard. You've got to seize opportunity when it comes along. You're seeing if, if they're, they're nice and free in their action, or they might be a little bit short. Why are they a bit short? You have to then address it. He can't pick up the phone. He can't say to you, hey, look, you know, I've got a sore foot. You have to see this. Then the horse comes off the track and, and you know, he, he's got cold water on him, so we, we put them under the heater lamps, we dress them under there, we have a high performance, like a treadmill, like you'd see in the gym, just to swap it around and make it a bit interesting and good for them. Well, the Melbourne Cup is a special, special race. And the, why it's a special race is that it's recognised worldwide. I dreamed of winning it, and I was lucky enough to do that with a wonderful horse called Ferente. And uh, you can't describe it, because everyone knows you won the Cup. Uh, it, it's really exciting. Any of those big races, the Oaks, you know, the Kennedy Oaks. And Jay Waterhouse takes the Oaks for the first time. Pino wins from Bring Me Roses. They're, they're very prestigious, and they're only the best of the best women.